Hey what's up everybody I'm back in the shop and today I have my GT bike. You might remember this bike from another video I did recently where I fixed it up just enough to uh, let my friend ride it for a week just to kind of putt around the area. Well that worked out he rode it no problems and I got it back and now it's a couple or a few weeks later and I'm ready to actually fix this thing up the right way and get it the way I want it. I'm actually planning on racing a race uh, in October 20th I think it's called the E. KZ, if I remember right, EKZ or EZK, EKZ, I think, uh, mountain bike race. I'll put something up on the screen, and it's a, it's not a mountain bike race, excuse me, it's a gravel race. But I'm going to race this, uh, this mountain bike in the gravel race. So I think it'll be kind of interesting to see how well this heavy old, what's that, 23, 24 year old uh, mountain bike can do in a, in a gravel race, an actual race. It's not just a ride; it is actually a race. What I'm going to do today for the next couple hours is get this thing into hopefully good enough condition that I can do that race. So let's get started. sitting here cleaning this cassette and it is really grimy it just occurred to me that I actually have a brand new seven speed cassette I accidentally bought this uh, cassette rather than a freewheel several years ago I just remembered that I still had it so why not use that rather than this old thing this will give me more uh, you know range for the uh, the steep hills anyway so plus I don't have to finish cleaning this grimy old thing so I'm definitely going to stick this on there. But I still do need to clean this wheel up and I'm actually going to change the tire. So let's go ahead and get this old tire off. Now this tire itself is actually holding air pretty well, surprisingly, because it is dry rotted. Um, there's quite a few cracks you can see. But I've been actually riding it to work and back for the past couple of weeks and it's held air. I haven't even had to fill it up once. And the tread isn't too terrible. Realistically, I could... I could race on this, but it just looks so ugly, um, you know, being super old and kind of like, yeah, it just looks really ugly. So I'm going to get rid of this, and I actually bought two new tires uh, just for this bike. So let's go ahead and get these off and then clean the wheel up. Okay, I think our bike is looking a lot better now, but there's still something pretty strange on here, don't you think? Yes, these handlebars. So I'm going to replace these handlebars with some flat ones Whoops, that I have.
Okay, so here's the two stems I have. I guess I should go for the lightest one, so let's see what the weights are. 278. Wow, 439. That's a lot. One difference that I noticed is that this one has an aluminum uh, wedge bolt. I don't know what to call it. Whereas this one seems to be some kind of steel. I think the bike's starting to look pretty good now. I do need to put a water bottle cage on, I just remembered, because, well, this ride is 50 kilometers long, so I'm going to need some water. Hang on, let me go ahead and do that right now. Okay, there we go. So this bike is done as far as I can see right now. I'm going to start riding it around to work and back and maybe off-road a little bit, just to see if there's any kinks to work out. Anyway, please do let me know in the comments below what you think of the bike, what I could have done differently, what you might suggest that I do do differently. If you do like these type of videos, please subscribe to my channel, just hit that subscribe button. In addition, if you want to see more of the stuff I'm doing with the bikes, if you want to kind of get together with other cyclists of, of a similar mindset, go ahead and join my Facebook group in the description below. I might post one more video on this bike before the race, or my next video on this bike might be at the race. Definitely I'll have a video of the race with this bike, kind of a breakdown video, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching, and have a great day. Bye.